Well, welcome Leos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message, week commencing Monday the 4th of January through to Sunday the 10th of January 2021. I've already pulled your crowning uh, message cards and your crown and wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us, Leo. For your first crowning message, we have trust, we have blessings, and we have closure. Okay, um, Leos, I feel as though this week, a major transformation, major illumination. With this trust card, I feel as though um, you're being guided to just trust the path that you're on right now. But also, it is also guiding you to not trust a particular situation or people around you at this time. Um, I feel as though you're being guided to almost sit back and allow divine to come in and guide you, illuminate you through a situation that you may not really particularly trust. Your intuition may be speaking to you at this time. And I feel as though you're being guided to be still, um, allow uh, divine spirit universe to guide you at this time. Uh, but if there's anything negative around you, I feel as though, or any anything negative, any people around you that are negative, I feel as though you're being guided to just um, observe, um, just pull back your energy, um, don't trust what you hear, what you see, um, just, you just can't really trust anybody um, at this time. Um, and I feel as though that the purpose is around something needs to close out, um, something needs to end, uh, something, there's something you may need to actually walk away from, uh, Leo's. And I feel as you do so, allowing divine spirit to illuminate um, closure, um, whilst you trust how divine spirit is going to position you, I feel, um, you're just being guided to allow those blessings to come in to you this week. For your crowning wisdom message, the first card you have is this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, Leos, the group of you that I am um, reading for uh, this week, um, I don't know if there are two people, there's something that you need to walk away from and just trust that divine spirit has got your black back and the blessing that is coming in is actually probably somebody um, that's in the background that's waiting to come in, but it's like you need to close one door in in order for another door to open but let's have a look and see um what your cards um are saying leo um leos if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to go ahead and click that thumbs up button on the video let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Week commencing Monday the 4th of January through to Sunday the 10th of January 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Leo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, straight away we have, okay, the Page of Swords. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. 
please can you tell me how dark thank you we have the knight of swords we have the six of coins thank you we have the seven of swords and we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, Leo, straight off the bat, um, there is something most definitely that needs to be balanced out, which is why I feel as though Divine Universe uh, Spirit is coming in and just saying, trust them right now. The person that you are connecting with um, is coming in as a Page of Swords. I feel as though they are watching, observing um, <clears throat> a situation with you at the moment quite closely. They may be somebody that's quite sharp, quite cutting, quite decisive, um, or they may not be great with communication. And I feel as though they do know that something needs to be balanced out. Um, or you know what? You may walk away. And that is what you are not telling them because this connection is too burdensome for you. Something needs to close out. Let's thank you. With the um, chariot here, I feel as though this person wants to rush in. Look, this person wants to rush in and balance out this connection um, for sure. And I feel it's because they see you as their wish fulfillment in some shape, form or another. Yeah, they're heartbroken. That is what they may want to talk about or speak. Um, but if they do speak it, I feel as though it's going to come out quite blunt. Yeah, they don't know how you feel with that moon card. They don't know how you feel. Thank you. About love. And about them, this is their energy, that Knight of Cups. They, they don't know how you feel. Wow. That Seven of Swords. And this is on your side, Leo. There is something you are not telling this person. Big time. Really, really big time. And whatever it is, it's too burdensome for you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify, how does the soulmates of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them? Thank you. I feel as though you're going to try and put this situation behind you. And you know what? Given, given um, your crowning messages and what's going on on this side, um, you may try and fight for this connection. But I feel as though you may fight for um, this closure. There's a lot of swords here, um, Leo, around your energy. And there's something you're really not communicating to this person. And the king of wands. I feel that this is your energy, uh, Leo's, may, male or female. I feel as though you want to take strong action to put, put down this burden and fight for something that you're not telling this uh, King of Cups, who I feel is also this Knight of um, Wow. Yeah, look at this. You are really overanalyzing either gossip, what people will say, which is why I feel that trust card is coming in to say um, that uh, you either need to pull back your energy from these people that you're not trusting or you feel a gossiping um, because it's, it's on your mind. It's almost as if you are um, creating more drama for yourself than than what is required but with this tower card something um something's going to come down some sort of drama and i feel it's to do with whatever is burdensome for you um around around this connection to this person over here so they are watching you closely they do want to rush it in um, to balance out this connection because they do see you as their wish fulfillment. Um, I feel as though they want to speak 
speak something quite blunt, quite cutting. Um, and it's to do with, I feel as though they're heartbroken and they don't know how you feel or they don't know how to balance out this connection. And I feel as though they do want to come in with this cup of love um, to you, but they're, they're heartbroken. And I feel as though you are not telling this person. You may also see as well, as this is right at the center of um, your reading, Leo, that um, th this situation needs um, balancing out, which... It's, it's evident that something something needs to close out with that closure card. But I feel as though you're not telling them. And I feel as though you're trying to put that behind you and move forward. Fighting for what? I don't know. Fighting perhaps for somebody else to come in. If you already have met somebody new or there's somebody that has caught your attention allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy taking strong action to put behind you this situation it's too burdensome it's on your mind it is it, it's, it's as though you're creating this mental prison and it's over drama it's over drama and i feel it with that three of swords and that tower card whatever this person is heartbroken about um I feel as though for you, you're just, it, it, it needed to happen. And the tower is the blessing. And I feel as though divine is saying, just, just trust, just, just trust me. Just trust me on this occasion. There could be somebody new coming in for you. Or uh, Leo, uh, divine universe may be reshaping and transforming this connection because they do see you as their wish fulfillment. This person who's coming in as that Knight of Swords and Knight of Cups. I feel it as though um, you have lived past lives together, but something's really, really gone away um, with this tower. And it is evidently quite burdensome for you. And you're not you're not speaking it. You're not. It's as it's as though you are hiding the truth from this person about how you're truly feeling. In terms of um, Major Arcana, um, you have Aquarius popping up here um, and Cancer. So Aquarius or Cancer, either you or the person you're connecting with, uh, Leo, has Aquarius or Cancer in their chart or both. Oh, let's have a look at your advice. Thank you. Wow. OK, well, that landed right there. So I'm going to leave it. And it says birth. This is a time of new beginnings. Embrace the new life which open with open arms. Um, Leo's, I don't know who you're connecting with right now, um, but evidently from your crowning message, um, I feel as though you cannot trust a situation right now. Um, you cannot trust those around you um, who you may be overanalyzing, thinking are gossiping, possibly judging you you're ob obviously over analyzing it you can't trust anybody right now um and i feel it's because divine is coming in saying trust me i will illuminate i will show you your blessings and it could be somebody new that comes in uh, something needs to close out on this side and with that birth card coming out here literally uh across this page of swords and this knight of swords it is a time it's a time for a new beginning so either divine spirit universe is going to reshape this connection to get it back on track and balance it in quite a powerful way um i feel as though you're being guided to embrace the new whatever that is whether it's a new reshaped connection with this person over here or somebody completely new coming in And then your second message advice card is energy. Try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people. Absolutely. Um, and that just echoes trust. 
anybody that's in your energy space, Leo, right now that is negative or that you're concerned is gossiping or chatting about you, um, that's just not not bringing a, a, a positive vibe to you, uh, just disconnect, for, just disconnect right now um, and allow Divine Universe to illuminate you as to the path that you've got to take because obviously something needs to close out. And as you do so, um, surround yourself with people that will raise your vibration and keep you in that positive vibe. And your last advice message is skills. It's time to learn some new skills study a course or start a new hobby um and i feel as though by um and, and you know allowing your heart and soul to sing this passion it may be to do with skills it could be to do with something that makes your heart sing in order to help you keep your vibration up uh trust divine um to close out a situation either reshaping this or bringing somebody new to you. But as part of keeping your vibration up, I feel as though you're being guided to pursue um, something, a hobby, um, a, a skill or, or something that, something creative that keeps your vibration up. I, I feel as though, uh, Leo, whatever is going on for you this week, um, trust divine, um, to uh, trust divine to bring in the blessing to you um, and keep your vibration up basically because I feel as though there's a new beginning um, for you this week um, and as I say it's either a new beginning with this person as divine works in the background to try and balance out or guide this person to balance out this connection with you or literally somebody new is coming in Okay, that was really uh, short and sharp, Leo. Uh, I, I mean, it, 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 it couldn't be any more clearer for, for me as a reader. Um, so uh, I'm going to leave that there, Leos. If this message is resonating for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video. Um, and if you would like to know when I'm uploading new messages, please also feel free to subscribe. Um, I welcome you to Spirit and Truth Tarot. And also, I thank you for your subscription as it really, really does help support the channel. All other information, uh, Leo's, are down below in the description box, particularly if you want to follow me on Instagram. Until next week, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye bye.